the one, the only, Ben Cio. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube table enabled on this Shabbat Shabbat Thomas fast day. Um, today we're finishing another week of Shulchan Aruch Yomi. Thank God it's a short simon today. Simon Ayin Reish really is supposed to be the other way around, but they change it because they don't want to say but the word Ra. I don't know. It's terrible to say the word Ra. Lomar Mishnah Vemadikin. The custom to say Vemadikin. People say this right before Marev Aleph. No, give Lomar Perep Vemadikin. That's Svardim. Omer Mosal Kodim Filas Arvis. Vilma Nachon. Svardim say it before Marev. Now, if you look in the Magid Avram, it doesn't mean exactly before Marev. It means before candle lighting. Because Vemadikin principally talks about what you're allowed to use for the wicks and for the oil for your narrows. Therefore, it makes sense to say it before candle lighting to make sure you got the right thing. Our minig is not to do that. It's to say it right already in shul. Right? We start a couple of Shabbos. We're already into Shabbos. The one has already lit candles already. So according to us, our minig, why do we do it then? And we'll talk about a different reason. Remember, I'll and Ian Delina. I'll give you my own perspective. Some people don't say if Yom Tov falls out on Friday. Some say on Hanukkah. You don't say this. I think we do say on Hanukkah. Uh, our minag is not to do that. We do say it on Hanukkah. This is our minag. We don't say it. If Yom Tov falls on a Friday or Yom Tov falls on a Shabbos itself, I think in both cases we don't say in those cases. What's the reason we don't say in those cases? Um, I'll tell you my opinion as it relates to what I, the question I asked in Sif Aleph. Ian Tolina on coming up next.